This could be ours. The Blitz was small and dark, intense, subversive. A big part of my personality was formed at that club. Among this strange mix of ex-punks, art school students, soul boys and soul girls, there was us, working class kids from North London. Steve Dagger, myself, Gary, Tony and Steve were all regulars at the Blitz in 1979. Every Tuesday night, 10 till 3, we would hang out, chewing away at the sides of our gums on speed and drinking bottles of beer. There's a brashness that you have by hanging out with a bunch of kids all dressed the same. You're either convinced you're going to lay everyone or you're going to have a huge hit record. Or both. Everyone at the Blitz was a designer or a writer or a filmmaker. We all had a million ideas and we talked about them all night long. We felt we were establishing a creative manifesto for the 80s. There was one day when Steve Dugger said to me, I'm managing a band. I said, what? He said, oh, yeah, you know, I've got a band. You come up with a name, you write the first review, we'll be a famous pop group, you'll be a writer. It worked. We'll have to uh, get a move on, all right?